a season that outside of VOD reviews, uh, probably one sooner forgotten for these two te teams. Definitely will be. I know we were pretty 50 50 about this matchup. We were. We would be taking it. 50 50, actually, exactly. Well, then, yeah, now, that's as 50 50 as you can be. Yeah, right? Um, 50 -50, with the map, <laughs> with the map consulate. Would you be inclined to say it might fall more into Empire's way? Because I would think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a great Empire map. It's a map where they've had some of their best play days ever against some of the biggest teams when they're at their best. It's a map that they defined an entire style of take on setting themselves in. Obviously, up in admin was they were the first kind of... You know, they were the progenitors of it. They were the ones that got in and got that developed early, and a lot of teams learnt from it in what was previously a very NA-designed and designated hold and defense around yellow, and that take it kind of revolutionized it. But it's also very fair to say that that was a very different empire to the empire that we have now, and even fairer to say it was a very different game to what we had back then compared to now. So, secrets possibility and chance of rabid gunfights if they can step up and go big with some of the players that we know can do that they might be able to be that thorn in the side of empire today i heard it in the interview we had with the empire coaching staff um just prior to the game started um the new meta doesn't really seem to be suiting them at this moment in time and you know especially due to the fact uh, fact that it's going to be a bit quicker on the gunplay. Um, yeah. They used to be really good at clearing everything out. Now they're struggling. And while well, it is something they're trying to get used to, and you saw against G2 that they do have the opportunity to go for it. Um, and now it's up to them. Like, are, are they going to do it again? Are they going to be as motivated as they were for that G2 game to at least end this stage with a win and make sure that they are not the ones who are stuck in that last place? Because, well, you don't want to be there at the end of the year. Of course, it's still early to say, still early to call it. It's better to get clear of that one as quickly as possible. There we go. Two tweets from the teams at Rogue. Obviously, the first from Rogue and the second from Bernie, the performance coach of uh, Rogue. And yep. to be fair, got to give credit to what she's been able to achieve alongside the rest of the coaching staff with the squad. Obviously, they didn't get the loss today, but you compare their performance with how they did last season, there's still a lot of love there, I think, for what they've been able to get and achieve. And it's still a top four spot. That means you are in the top 16 rankings currently for SI 2020, uh, 2022, I must say, sorry. Um, yeah, 2020 was last year. Yeah, it was last year, and we're, yeah. we still have to do 2021, so. I know uh, time's been a bit weird recently, but. Everything changes. Everything, everything changes. just flips around and gets postponed. Now. We find ourselves, nobody suffering from those early picks and potential that they seem to want to go for, Empire. They were waiting for the drop and the potential here to be picked up. Comfy watching and waiting and pushing underneath steadily to see if there is anybody playing loose. Slips by a camera that is currently off to not give the game away that someone's been underneath because it's also a tell when a camera's gone is that somebody's been there. No. He says he sets himself up for the top of the stairs, hoping somebody still assumes it's clear and gets a little bit bold and brash. But Empire still stoically holding from the top down, looking through these picked angles. We talked about Aruni earlier and what she can offer herself in her gadgetry. The able to open up these sight holes and angles is a very big pocket for very clever players. It is indeed a lot that they can achieve with that one. And you see Dan right now just snaking back and forth, hoping to find an angle on one of these secret players. But if there is going to be no pressure coming down. In the meantime, Gonfi taken down by Saiter. He's going to be going to go for the second one. Actually getting that down as well. So Slevin will be falling. Leaves us in a 5v3 situation right here with a lot of pressure actually on the first four right here from the likes of Secret. Oh, there it is. Shut down already. Prano at least finds one back, but he's stuck in a bit of a tricky situation here with Draven on the shoulder. They're pre-firing rounds off of the cover of the man as he goes for the rotate. They have the yellow ping on one of them. They might not know about the other on the windows. They are definitely still concerned about the possibility. Swings wide, but gets dropped by Joystick, who had that watch for a while. Scyther, in the meantime, has actually found the ability to slip past and rotate down the stairs. Stretches the firefight, puts Draven in a really tricky situation, but he's not there long as Joystick Stick locks open Empire's first round without anyone getting to the floor of the site itself. I was going to say, it's a very strange take. Um, going from the basement, working your way up, and 
after that, deciding to go for that first floor take. Of course, you can you can try and use it for some grenades that you could lob up into the in the default positions, hoping to pick up a kill or two as a result. But Empire completely aware of it, completely able to respond to and reply to it as well as they pick up most of the kills and make sure that they are the ones to run away with the first round so far. And as we are going cafeteria garage, there is an opportunity for three C4s. Could be a lot of information as well with the Valkyrie and the Echo both on the board. That is uh, definitely going to be coming into the... Oh no, that is painful. I'm not sure if the Zero will be helping rather than the uh, the IQ. Zero is one of those operators, obviously. I guess we were in a situation of Aruni stepped up very recently, which swayed a lot of perspectives on how present a new op can be into the meta and how prevalent a new op can be into the meta. We also obviously had that recently with Malusi's had some play. Iana, not at first, but now. Zero was a little bit more hushed, I think, in terms of her appearance. He's rarer, he's got his specialities, he's got a lot of pockets of cameras and stuff to burn through gates and windows, and if anything, that's why you'll see him a little bit more nowadays. All right, so just quickly deciding where to throw out the camp from opening a couple of those windows just to make sure that they're left guessing. We'll actually go for it in the end. Might be a bit late, might be spotted. Seems like it will survive for now and a lot of members of Secret right there. So it should be uh, a camera that they will be picking up on because a lot of information will be fed. It's the likes of Empire. So you got to make sure that you are taking care of it as quickly as possible. Look at that Scyther here. Aware of the fact that currently no pressure coming down on the yellow stairs except for the one buddy that is just standing there holding the door. Joystick. Gonna have a good opportunity of actually going to... Gonna go a bit aggressive here from the CEO window. And well, the aggression works. Drops the worst kind of present and pass into Laprano who gets blown to pieces. But the garage wall is open either side. They now have that as a big opportunity, but all four of them are currently stacked around the corner. They obviously have the body watching in case somebody goes for the hop out of Yellow Stairs window or goes for the pressure on the window itself. It's all of them kind of weighing up. Well, how do we next approach this? Drones are steady. Empire still have piano control, so they can't just try and flood and overpower their way in, especially with the Echo, obviously still on the board, and two C4s in the pockets of Dan and Empire, whether dropped down from above or whether lobbed from the back line. Either way, as soon as they start to make their entrance, it's going to be hit. And, well, all the other stuff I talked about, there's also still Shepard playing around pipes with those gas canisters. That's 30 seconds oh, lost again. in Hyph. Again, problems that have unfortunately carried over to today have dropped them out of this, and that puts them in a three versus five. Got to be careful here now, Secret, to hopefully still get this round, at least put some pressure down. But look at the vertical control that's there. It's a trade from Slabbin and Joystick. And still the member in Piano that is going to be dealing a lot of damage potentially to Draven if he decides to walk in. So here, Secret needs to decide to go for a different approach. And Gonfi already starting that one off, descending down the yellow stairs as Draven is coming to put some pressure down as well but there's a member down in piano are they gonna hunt him first no it doesn't look like it. a bit of a tag coming down on Gunfy. right now Draven hoping to fight the angle right there as it's Dan actually to get the kill swap to the shotgun hoping to chip away the health but it's not gonna be working out Draven on the pistol will be able to finish that kill with 45 seconds left will be no more Shepard able to pick up that kill will be uh, securing that round as well secret again plagued by Hive disconnecting from the game Seems to uh, be having some issues that have persisted throughout the day. Well, they're going to see if they can get him back in in time. Obviously, they only get one rehost and one pause for this sort of setup. So they're hoping they don't have to take it. We will be running that clock to the wire. There it is. There's the call. The reason that that was so delayed was, as we said, the player was trying to get back in in time. Yeah. So they didn't have to use the pause unfortunately for them they do and i guess in this moment of time you can only really hope that it's not something seen as frequently as it has been over the past 24 hours yeah we saw it of course yesterday happening in a very final round where he also dropped for the second time in that day in that matchup and now they had to use that rehost early on so exactly i should say they're trying to wait until the very very last moment to make sure that they can save it but you got to try and start with five very early on. You got to try and build back that momentum now because as we speak, it is Empire that has two rounds on the board and Secret still with zero. 
yes, they are on the attack. Yes, it is a bit harder. And currently, Empire is all over them. But you gotta, you gotta try and get that momentum back somehow. And they weren't able to do it. They decided to no longer go for the garage push. It were two v four, and well, hope to go through uh, benches and potentially piano, but didn't really work out for them either. As uh, the gunfights, well, nowhere close to being won. Well, obviously, we'll get ourselves back into the game as soon as we can. It's obviously still being sorted and put around. And, you know, as we said, it's, it's their only real pause. So using it this early. Yeah, sure, you've lost two rounds. It gives you the ability to break up momentum. It's not entirely a write-off, but that is entirely me trying to put a silver lining on an unfortunate situation. Back in. All 10 players found their way into the lobby. It auto gives a player when they rejoin. Uh, based on the clock, so that sixth pick had to be to Iana. I wouldn't say that that was a bait and play. I'm correct in that assumption, am I? Yes, you are. If, yeah, if you join is. back after the uh, the initial pick phase, so if you join back in the reveal phase, you get a random operator assigned to you, uh, which you can then swap out, of course, during the sixth pick. Um, but hey, maybe the uh, the can like the potential ying there. You never know if it sticks. So you might have just been able to fool Empire into picking a warden, which of course didn't happen. But it, it would be funny if that would have been the case. I mean, yeah. Again, silver linings on a rubbish silver situation. Lines. That that's that's our job. It's to try and sugar frost the bad news. So let's see if they can try and I guess bring something back out of that pause if they can utilize what was uh, I'm gonna say a surprise use of their tack pause and I guess battle back here against what has otherwise been a bit of an empire show they're trying similar holds as they did before obviously a different site they went for this peak but just missed the man who slipped past there all the way up he'll hear the rappel and realize well they've got past didn't know that there was still another body further back but playing around that suicide balcony it gives you the option to go for this power. I was going to say, you're not going to jump out. There's no way you're going to be going for that. We know that Secret really like to play someone deep inside spawn that is going to be holding off that balcony for a little bit until at least everybody is close to the actual building. And now Hive back in. It's going to be uh, hoping to make an impact make up for the disconnect he just suffered. It's like they're throwing out the C4 though. It's not going to be able to uh, do too much damage. Slabin will be able to survive and would have maybe been better to use it up here as Prano just swings in and gets the kill down on the side there. That is suddenly piano control now in the hands of Secret. Well, if we're going to talk about players that need to show up and you kind of expect to on these maps, Prano is always one of those early names that you throw down. He's been able to put himself consistently into these firefights and it's showing, but Joystick, well, he hasn't been as consistent, but when he's had his good games, it seemingly lasts all game. So him already being on a 5-1 is a great sign for Empire fans and kind of the team as well here because, as I said, it's sometimes, you know, it's, it's not that he has hit or miss rounds, it's usually whole games. And when he has a hit of a game, well, it's a beast, Dan. He waits here precariously, turns away at maybe the moment he could have got that body there. And look at Slevin, he's just trying to find the angle right here, prone as well. He's very aware of the fact that there is some vertical angles that are in play. Plants in the meantime will be coming down. Draven trying to put that clock up to 45 and counted down 40 attackers and are hoping to go for that after plant situation there as well. The Echo Drones were not able to cancel it. Always will go down and we're counting down from 40 now. They need seven and a half seconds to try and get this defuse. Well, they've been able to pull themselves back in and get it post-planted underneath the guise of an Echo Drone and bodies above that just weren't paying attention to the right spot. A sneaky play, and the pings are still coming through continually across the board here, but with the lockdown body inside the middle and one apiece, well, a trade drops again. The second time Joystick's lost his life in that situation, but this time Slebin, the man who was there the first time, locks off the round without losing his own life. Well, they took the time out, unfortunately, but they at least made something of it to one. Now, using it as a tech timeout might be helping them here, finding the round straight away. That's what we call a bit of that tactical timeout magic. Of course, there was a, a plague, something plagued them, but it doesn't matter in the end. They managed to get the round, and that is all that matters. If you manage to get one, maybe two more, Secrets suddenly find themselves in a very good spot to go into the rest of this matchup, and we might set ourselves up for yet another Max OT Consulate. Because when I think of Consulate, I think of a G2 Empire game that really went down to the wire with, well, where we found out about the 7.5 seconds where we 
uh, saw Empire just struggling trying to get the final kill in, but eventually the time saved them and all the other great clutches and plays that we've seen. And I really hope that we're going to see the same here from Empire and I really hope that Secret is going to be able to step up to the task to bring us back towards an OT situation here. Okay, Secret, your plan A was new. I think it's better. it was a little bit puzzling. Uh, going in right from underneath and trying to dig your way up internally in the building and not taking those window-based firefights that Consular is, I guess, <sighs> played and potentially disliked by a lot of teams for, is the tendency for win window fights and battles. But, obviously, your internal structure didn't really work. It all fell apart below the site. So, are we going to see a slightly different angle of approach here? That's the question. Empire playing on these yellow stairs secret. Last time the top floor was the site, they went from basement and up. Looks like this time around they might be thinking about actually going directly through the yellow stairs and one member you need to take care of is going to be always. That is just sitting here on top of it. You have to use a lot of the utility, but actually as I say that, there is a bunch of people repelled up on the southern side of the map and that could actually mean they're trying to put some piano control in his joystick yet again. With the opening kill. Not quite sure from where this time, though. They get a quick bit of revenge there. Hive's able to drop the body beneath. Sees the knee of Joystick, who slips away. One foul step there, and that could have been the end of his round. But he repositions, replaces, and reapplies himself towards Yellow. Sees the doors open. Swings round and gets a fight. Gomfy dropped the drone. Gave a bit of a game away, and he is tearing through the consulate so far. We're playing downstairs now, trying to go for a bit of a bait. This Dan will also be able to pick up the kill down onto Draven. One minute 50 on that clock, and now Secret need to make a very important decision. Are we going to waste more resources and more time into trying to hunt down Joystick? He was just vibing behind the uh, YFN and will not be moving from there for a long while. Still has that C4 available, so if it comes down to a potential plant situation for Secret, he is still in a position that... You know, he can use to try and come back up, use that C4 and stop that plant. In the meantime, we do in the meantime, meantime twice there, Hive actually coming in um, inside admin. So they're trying to go for a vertical pu uh, horizontal push right here and maybe just completely deny the fact that joystick exists. Slabin is looking to apply some pace here, put the pressure down onto the connector to see if he can draw the attention of anybody that swings around. But nobody takes the cake in Hive. Slips all the way in, right round the back of a Rooney, dropped them, and they find and flood their way into sight, but the cover is lost, and, well, now he's very isolated without a diffuser here at all. It's tough. He pops back out onto Suicide to get it back in his hands. It'll give a bit of the audio game away. They know exactly where he is and what he's been playing at before caught by an ADS. There's one more and a drone, and he floods back in. They're on the rotation, though, and that is Empire able to lock off the top floor for the second time. Uh, try to go in aggressive through connector got stunned by the yokai drone in the meantime you saw joystick walking below with the c4 you saw the jaeger of always already moving up to the long desk and now uh, the echo himself peeking from the connector there was three ways he could have been killed from at that very moment of course it was not going to last long and 3-1 right now to score for empire yet again bringing the echo we are going to cafeteria garage again what we saw in the last round here is that they do not put that much pressure or resources or utility down onto the garage wall. It will open up. They are aware of it. And instead, they will be bringing a Valkyrie again. And again, you see the IQ being six picked out. We might see another C4 just raining in and being able to pick up a kill. One of those members that is supporting the potential play from the garage. Okie dokie, Empire, that's been a good bounce back and secret, obviously. They can only really play with the momentum that is in field and in pocket so far. And it's kind of becoming a little bit shaky because well, you're talking about people having pop-off moments and you're talking about Empire having confidence on this map. I said the swing round could be secret getting and getting aggressive across the board and winning those, but when Joystick is going 8-2 to and seemingly everywhere all at once, that uh, turns us into a very dangerous mission to try and take over. He's definitely feeling good here as Saita again, preparing to toss out a camera. This time it looks like it might be coming down the southern side of the map. Not quite sure yet, as still running around. They have a camera down into the palm tree. He's going to be giving away some information. 
Question being, is Secret going to be able to hunt these down? It's actually both sides and one of the top floor and long desk. So a lot of pressure right here Did coming he... through on that top floor. No, no, no. He's shooting open the uh, the yeah. soft wall so he can actually look inside a theater. The timing of the light of it going out after placement made yeah, it look like he, <laughs> like he shot he it. <laughs> But he did not. On the slightly minimized screens that we have, that could have been dangerous. But look at this. Quick pace here. Drape. Make sure they get this wall open. They haven't lost the body so far before. They have that watch for the potential C4 that might come out the window. Joystick. Well, he's playing it. He's throwing it. He's blowing it. And he's missing it. So that gives Secret this panache, this energy to go in and go deep. He's caught and tracked by the Jackal. They'll push him further and further back to the top of Yellow Stairs. But potentially, he wants to take this gunfight. He's playing around with the pings and putting himself in these situations where they can't quite get him nailed down. He can still cause problems if they drift a little bit too wide and that leaves just that single watch that eye on the cover oh no there is a bit of single watch there is intel and there is that one important lesson if you ever want to know why valkyrie is banned so often on this map there's a demonstration especially in combination with a nomad and the nomad is gone and that allows you to go for these kind of plays just go for the jump out Important to mention though is that in the meantime Hive on the upside down repellent CEO was actually able to get the kill down onto Joystick, the man who tossed out that C4 and the man who is picking up so many kills already. Footsteps now being spotted of course of the Valkyrie who uh, will just get one ping off. It seems like they're aware that he was going on a bit of a flank right there and you have it. Hive able to pick up that kill. Valkyrie who jumped all the way back down managed to make its way all the way back up just to be taken down by the Jekyll. And holding firm on a long angle here and hoping he gets a bit of attention before he has to drop so he can waste a little bit more time and do a little bit more damage. He wants somebody to swing back round and think that he's not there. And I guess it's down to the drone information to give the game away of whether they know that he's still holding it. They're actually just going to leave him as Shepard. Cuts the man in half. Slevin dropped. Hyfe and Draven, though, get one apiece. And there's always, and Prano has the cover. Suddenly, the slew of bloody bodies and blood sprays all over consulate but secret that come out a little bit better come out a little bit better indeed you quickly saw there the last yokai drone being taken care of that was giving away a lot of information to empire and right now secret find themselves on two rounds that is theoretically speaking enough to go into the second half and potentially fight your way back but there's still a round to go and we're going to lobby press room for it as the first site, Secret managed to win. Mind you, that was the planned situation that happened right outside the piano window after Prano just swung in, got the kill, took bathroom control, and soon after, the clock was ticking down from 45. Nothing Empire could do to try and take it back because just a bunch of unlucky timings, I guess. Not able to pick up the kills into the main lobby or realizing that the repel in was on its way. Lobby was obviously the site where Empire were lost to their first hold here. Secret were able to take something and came with pace of Piranha swinging on the window and winning at that very important opening gunfight that has otherwise been the make or break. But it also boiled down to a sneaky plant. They plucked themselves in underneath the piano and slipped by the echo drones that were still up, the attention from the verticality that was still more than able to get into the positions to cover things. They just missed a step and... I'm curious to see if Empire stack up themselves with a little bit more awareness of the possibilities of the situations or if Secret, whether they try to go for a double or nothing sneak plant play. Might not be able to get away with it again and you see a heavy emphasis right here on trying to get the spawn peak again to make it work but then taking the shots, missing them all. Opening up the window at least to uh, let them know, hey we're still here, we could still go for a bit of a jump out. It's not going to be happening. They want to be careful as Jive again getting the spot down here. He'll be able to uh, to give some valuable information down to the rest of his team. It's the position of one player. It's Draven again with the opening kill right here down onto Dan. He'll be taking care of that Malusi. He was opening up a bunch of vertical angles that were necessary to make sure that they could potentially hold onto Piano. Joystick still buried upstairs, putting his ADS down as Slevin just makes his appearance on those CEO windows. They obviously have a bit of attention here now paid which previously wasn't so that's going to give joystick a little bit more work to do he actually doesn't quite catch the angle there as it was obviously sneaking around from a pretty hefty working jackal since obviously 
Oh, an unfortunate start to the game, and I won't say more not to curse it. He has stepped up, Hyfe, into this game, and he's made sure that his mark is known on each of these rounds. Meanwhile, we have one of the members of Secret going down from the basement. Is going to be coming up spiral soon. We have one that is coming up on yellow and Scyther. While he's sitting down in piano, he's sitting down in the side together with Shepard, who is at the back of the long desk. This could quickly uh, find itself in a 1v5 situation right here in the disadvantage for Empire's Prano. Now sneaking up even further, just missing out on the rotation right there. But remember, coming down the actual yellow stairs, it's always to pick up the kill. Go for the run out. He's going to be able to drop the diffuser as well, but not the second one, who actually managed to make its way into CEO. That put the diffuser outside. I don't think he was swinging in. Well, they're at least able to find one back and make sure they keep the body balance in their favor. But with the diffuser cold outside, and in fact, that is how it has fallen. It is a big scarper on the plans. Huge rotations have to be made. Huge concerns over the possibility of a double down on runouts, which means you have to know and learn what is safe and where you can play it instantly changes the pace of how you held this map and the pressure that you thought you could apply before Scarpered by one single run out. 40 seconds and the diffusers back in the hands of three players. They have this angle here just on the back stairs and there's a bit of a giveaway. They know that someone's deep and Gomfy swings round, gets one more lock off. It's an echo drone that's going to try and cause a bit of disruption so he can get himself into a position to apply the pressure from above. It gets stuck. And his position gets revealed by the loose Gemini. And, well, we find ourselves in a similar plant position to previous in terms of where it is. But everything else about this round has been very different. Very different indeed. Shepard, uh, Shepard going for the run out here. Able to pick up the first kill. Hive will drop. That's just a member down on the spiral stairs. And not sure what the last one is actually inside the bathroom. They have it slabbing. Locking it down, rotated up the white, the, the yellow stairs right here. Managed to find himself inside the bathroom. Knew the last member was on the top floor. And shut him down as a result of it. And there you have it, secret. Even though they had a very unlucky start, we're still finding ourselves in a 3-3 split. It's still super even. And this means that the game is still for both to be, uh, to be played for. Could indeed end up in an overtime if we continue in the current trend line that we have been seeing. Jackal? Really useful for Secret right there, I think you could say. A lot of the pings uh, forming up and a lot of the information game, making sure that they were able to pick up these entries from well, wherever they were in that case, just hunting them down bit by bit. Yeah, it's the way that these rounds have really boiled down. It was just quite influential in how they were able to get the angle. It was really, really well played. They were able to catch the feet of Empire players that were quite stoic. They really were holding on to their positions and their angles. We saw some big rotates when they got a kill and when they'd kind of confirmed something from their position, but otherwise they like to try and stick and make it matter the most. Sometimes you'll see players and teams on consulate be very fluid. They'll head down to the bottom, they'll keep themselves moving, they're roaming, but they're trying to make every part of the map dangerous. That's consulate, that's the unique sort of play space it offers. There it is, that was the run out that sort of almost brought Empire back into it there. Almost managed if he uh, if he managed to get the double kill there like that would have been so huge so big but Not happening of course just able to drop the diffuser. It was still very helpful It's not helpful enough to make sure that they would win the round and Right now Empire is slowing down just a little bit joystick not really getting back into the groove after uh, the fourth round and Seems like they do or are in need of it because Secret able to put up these consecutive rounds right now. Three on three, we find ourselves. Let's see if they're going to be able to bring it back. Empire opening up the hatches, putting some pressure down from Adnan. Secret, um, actually, with one member down. Oh, they might be able to find it right there. Empire opening up right above always. So far, Draven still in Visa, roaming around. Will be droned out by Den and... So far, we'll escape, but the question is, will someone else be waiting for him to try and pick him up? Wow, the C4 pops. It doesn't quite catch anybody this time round, but they're looking for some aggression. They're playing that dangerous game I said they talked about before, where you can keep a lot of consulate concerned with all of the possibility of where people might be able to find their way through. Gomfy, 
He heads round and down, concerned again. If I'm going to say that word many, many times. Another C4 for the previous hole, but doesn't catch anybody this time either. It's actually Hyfe that finds the opener against Dan on the opposite side. There's still one more playing just around the top of the visa stairs. Hyfe's able to slip away, but knows that they will have cover on the long desk side too. There is a body backing them up. You can see Gonfies rotating up spiral. They want to set themselves up with their own cross angle. They have the body advantage. I was going to say they set up for trades, but they don't even need to. Gonfie goes wide, gets always. And there's one more dropped on the swing in Prano. Has the cover there. And you thought that was Hive, but Hive's finally put down. Not quite finished off. They're still aware that there's concern of cover. And finally, Empire find a body. But there's only a minute left to see if they can find four more. Now it's 55 seconds. And they need to make their way all the way down to try and get that diffuser down onto the side. Or at least make sure they get the four kills necessary to win the round as a result. And... And due to that, there is still time to drone, and that's exactly what they're doing right now. Hope to get some information out. There's still two left. One on Shepard and one on Scyther. And they need to use these last couple of seconds to at least try and find out where these players are. Otherwise, the issue just as well be counted as a bit of a timeout, because you need to push now. You need to get these kills, and Slevin, the first one to be in a key position to try and stop that from happening. As a side to trying to find the actual Electroclaw right there. I'm not sure if there's actually time to go for a breach, but they decide to go for it anyway. As Hive again drops, but will it matter in the end? Well, one kill drops, the second will not, and it's only up to Shepard now as he's descending on the yellow stairs, but will not be able to get any more. Draven gets that final kill. And Secret, they take the lead, finally. Well, they take the lead, but another tech problem. And they're only allowed one of those pauses per game. So, I mean, I'm assuming it's down to the admin ruling. I think they might make uh potential exceptions here because of how things have obviously gone it's obviously something plaguing his game right now and you can't really be in control of that on such an important game too yeah it is it is it is not for first place it is not for top four no it's it's for the ninth place but it's still a very important one because it is like for first of all there's a head-to-head -head involved which might be very important at the end of stage three and it is points involved you never know if you might need them so we went from the tactical timeout we had first to the technical timeout. So tactical, yeah. technical. So we have had both now um, to come in and, well, gives them a little bit of time to get Hive back in. But at least Secret, since that tech timeout, have been able to put some rounds on the board and now find themselves in the lead as well. Something many might not have expected after the way how Empire started off in this match. It also gives Empire time to talk. It gives them time to sort of get to grips with each other and try and find some of the energy and the handle that they had early on in the map because those first two mm -hmm. rounds they were theirs and the third round that they won it was theirs and it was built from confidence it was built from control of the map and the play space since then obviously we've seen secrets step up and step back in to the game they've been able to get a bit of a response here so this gives empire a moment to go hang on okay let's not let them get too much further ahead than us because now they need to find the next gear yeah, Empire is in need to try and fight back, to try and find themselves back in the lead or the driver's seat at least of one of these rounds. And how are you going to do that? How are you going to start it off? Um, they tried to go aggressive on that top floor. It didn't really help because the members of Secret were able to swing in whatever they were being brought. So maybe they need to go to a bit more of a one-dimensional push, get more bodies down coming in from the same side instead of five different angles because you just saw what happened. It's a turret just locking onto the targets that are coming at him and well able to pick up those kills at least for a big impact in that round and you don't want to lose your rounds to to giving one v one so that is why i'm saying maybe put like three people on one side two on the other at least you can go for the trade but you need to make sure that you're not losing four people to hive that is just standing in the middle of the room i'm spitting a little bit of a sorry in chat but i mean you can't help these things unfortunately sometimes they happen ed is obviously one of the biggest hurdles inside of this year has been getting all of this stuff run and to be fair i've got to give kudos and credit to obviously all of production all of the players as well and everybody involved in the tech side for getting this run so smoothly that it's been this season like it's really everything with the cameras with obviously everything generally like it, it's it's been good it's been very good it has been good. 
And now Secret, even though they were plagued with these issues, are they going to be able to take a win home here today? At least some points. It's going to be the big question. That is what we're looking out for. As uh, they are going to the top floor hold now. No, actually, the lobby hold now. Excuse me. Which means that there's going to be heavy top floor emphasis. There will. Also, we've seen it popped up a couple of times, but we haven't mentioned it. The Battle of the Tweets. Whoa. I don't know if they're going to bring it back up now that I mentioned it. They kind of put it up there and, and coyly got rid of it. If you missed yesterday, what we've been doing on Super Weekend is for the big game of the day, it's a Battle of the Tweets. You tweet either of the hashtags, regardless of what the teams, or I say regardless, whatever team you're supporting in that showdown, um, you know, we're seeing uh, which one has the biggest drive. And also tweet towards our account and it might get featured on the stream as well. Who are you rooting for? Who's your feedback? Who do you think has been unstoppable today? You're you're not allowed to vote for Milos. Actually, you can send some Milos. You can vote for Milos. Yeah, you let's can, get you some can vote for everybody. Tweets. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. And if you if you want to tweet, make sure to tag at R6 Esports EU and make sure, sure to use the hashtag R6 EUL hashtag. Of we're, course, we're, make sure that you uh, you can be able to get featured. You maybe like why you're plugging us. We're watching it. Yeah, but we want you to guys to be involved in the stream as well. You can be on the stream. Yeah. Talking about being involved. They're already in admin. They're already putting this pressure. We talked about this take as being something that they sort of designed and accredited for. And, well, they're going to make sure that they run it quick. We're just passing the two-minute mark, and they are already setting themselves up. Dan's putting pressure onto the suicide balcony, as always look for the swing around the visa stairs to hope they can catch anybody that gets a little bit loose. Why not find the ADS there? Dan losing a lot of his hit points there. Just to be careful. Actually going quite aggressive right now. Gonfi taken down. Then able to win that gunfight, instantly swapping over towards the connector, hoping to find a second, but it's not happening yet. It's an Empire now. You see them being stacked up on the admin side of the map. They do want to take control of theater right here, projector room, and push up to that long desk as well to take connector. As a result, as Hive now swings aggressively, gets stunned, throws out that C4, but will be taken out before he makes it explode. Is that a uh, refrag Dell from Slevin who drops right after? Well, now it's a moment of calm after what was a very explosive introduction to the map itself, Empire. You've come off better this time around. You've been able to lock in. And as I said, that conversation where you needed to realize you've got to step up with that energy and aggression. And you have. But now there's only 45 seconds and you still have two players left. Draven, what I was about to say, has everything in his pockets. But now he has nothing <laughs> in his pockets and nothing in his bones or blood either as he's dropped, leaving just Prano to do all of the rest of the heavy lifting. They're still droning. They're still setting themselves up trying to find that final player, that final body. They just need that one bit of intel and then they feel confident to have the entire cover. Shepard went for a plant, shot something to clear some space and went for the response. Now they know exactly where he is. Prano, he's low health and even lower empire. They go back level. They have an empire bringing back the round right after the, uh, the technical timeout we've had. Use that to quickly get back up to speed on what the IDs were, what they needed to do to make sure that their attacks will stick and now, coming into round number nine, they have the opportunity to retake that lead, but secret, same thing. They have the opportunity to bring it down to five, and the, the first one who reaches round, like the, the fifth point on that scoreboard, always gets a little bit of extra pressure down to their opponents, because at that moment in time, it's like, all right, we cannot make a single mistake anymore, or they will be on match point. And of course, as soon as that match point happens, it is going to be even more pressure for the team that is trailing. So, Secret and Empire, both a very important round right here. Round number nine it is going to be Lobby Press yet again coming through. Secret, are they going to change some things up after a very successful take from Empire? Wow, slight so changes here, obviously picking up the Rook for, I guess, the cover in case you go down. But it's a good gun set. It's a good bit of a burst of aggression that you can play in terms of those angles and those windows. People setting themselves up with French operators on defense on those windows and consulate, you're like, oh, it's going to be one of them kind of games. It's going to be one of these games. One of these games. One of those games that could be going OT, could be going to, you know, the full 15 rounds and... At the point where a winner is crowned, we're still like, can we can we please get like three more rounds? Would be really appreciated. Um, of course we can. We gotta we gotta we gotta take enough with 50. Either way, we are seeing a Ooh, pretty similar setup, and indeed a little bit of a spawn peak coming down. Joystick taking a bunch of damage. Running through Prano, who's now rotating all the way back down. 
you know, just uh, see two more armor plates left there. Is that going to be a bit of a trick that we've seen in APAC about a default plant spot? The Rook armor being placed right there? I mean... No, okay, it's in the middle of antechamber, no. so it's just yeah, people not picking it up. There. You cannot plant there. I, I thought they might have been catching up to APAC, but The APAC play was not. very clever. Um, it was very clever. No, I think it's just two people that didn't get their armor in here. I guess we'll see if they're the ones that live to tell the tale or not. Steady is the approach yet again from Empire. They're at this position previously where they're able to get in and put the pressure onto admin. Obviously, Joystick's got a lot less blood, so he's going to have to pick his firefights more particularly. And as you can see, Secret, they're still setting themselves up for the pressure. Gonfi was actually caught out rotating from behind the shield before. I think he realized that there was a lot of mounting pressure, but instead of trying to hold on and wait for the cover, which he now has from Antichamber, uh, from Connector even, um, he got himself gunned down, unfortunately, not quite knowing that Dan was there already putting pressure. But as I said, he's not alone this time, and he's ready for the fight here. Ready for the fight, just waiting. Dropping just as the grenade comes in. Good timing there from Gumphy. Probably felt it coming with the spider senses. As Dan again putting some pressure down from that window. So this time no kill. And is exact matter from Empire. And does the pressure will be coming down onto Connected next. And well, first they do have to take control of Long Desk. They do have to take full control of Projector. And as the grenades start flying in, the shields are being taken care of. It's almost like we're back in the 22nd meta. We're... A lot of the shields were, of course, stalling a lot of time, but we all know that's not the case. It's just Hive hiding in a corner right here. Together with Prana, that's backing him up on the long angle. Actually, Slevin, I must say. Sorry, excuse me. Making sure that they will not be able to enter Projector in these last 50 seconds, so they will have to try and do something else. It is one of those things that was cited by Empire themselves, is that they've struggled in this new meta with the pace of their oh. clear, and that's what they feel has let them down a bit, and oh. I guess that's one of the games. Yeah, he didn't quite want to throw that out. He's still got it in pocket. Scyther pushes deep a long, long desk and hits the top of Spiral. You can see Dan is ready to pop in and cause some trouble with Gonfi watching at the bottom. There's a lot of bodies that are ready to try and rush in onto the lobby side here. At least one other person's been able to pick up their armor. In the meantime, a smoke goes right to the door and those being played now puts a lot of pressure here. He's just being caught by the fire. Crawls further away. The canisters go up and they go deep. Always gets dropped, but the planter, he's sticking it. He's not there. He's to your left. Swings around and just spots him in the nick of time. He drops down for a triple kill. Dan is plugging his way oh. forward they just find that split second they just have to put some bullets in danny sticks it but he doesn't last much longer than that chaotic is one word for that play and plant it was a hail mary attempt from empire but secret are the ones left standing that was such a chaotic ending right there just coming in just managing to get the plant down. Somehow they were unaware of the fact where the diffuser was. Like it got dropped on that exact same spot a bit before. It doesn't matter in the end. Secret with the two men just both coming around one side of the table. We're able to pick up the fifth or well, their fifth point into this matchup. Round number nine is theirs. And now round number 10 is going to be the one that is worth actually a point on the standings and having the opportunity to fight for the three. Cafeteria Garage is going to be the site where Secret decide to take the fight. And they do bring... Okay, Kate is being brought in. So where we saw Empire not really being bothered too much with keeping the wall closed, it looks like Secret might do. And of course, there is going to be two spots where we do often see these electric claws placed. One that is unable to be get... Uh, you know, the, that's unable to get from the actual uh, drone hole with the grenade. Uh, and the other one is, of course, just to, to counter off a Kali, for example. But roll in a grenade through the drone on and it will open up. Yeah, it's obviously how we've seen them on their approach before. The pace of the wall uh, was played very quickly by Secret in terms of their attack. They got it open, usually within the opening 20, 25 seconds, even though that there were bodies playing above. So these are the big trade moments. I like how, obviously, one dropped on the default, literally couldn't have pressed F a split second later to put that yeah. user down when he picked up. That was, you know, nail biting. A split second later on either pressing F, he had a worse keyboard. He had a less responsive keyboard. He wouldn't have got that diffuser down. Exactly. He wouldn't have been able to get it. There you have it. That's actually the electric lot. That one is hidden in the ceiling. 
Um, so they will have to go from the top floor. Of course, Dan is playing. IQ shouldn't be too big of an issue. And I believe the second one is actually located next to the fuse box that is uh, located next to the garage. So we'll be making sure that the, uh, the white fan wall will stay closed. With that, you might force Empire into actually breaching the black car wall, which is going to be a little bit easier to hold from the rest of the site as soon as it start running in and of course it's also going to be helping you in a potential retake as often the plan does still come down uh at the front of the white fan which then would not be able to be covered off by the opening that they would create well empire you've obviously been able to find a bit of momentum before but secret yet again have stepped themselves back up into this fight it's a very even spread across all 10 players everybody's been able to have their moments and get in on the trades and i think that's akin to the combination of this meta and continent it's one of the things that we've i guess chastised other teams when they've had off days is you know it's one player that's carrying a lot of the work here everybody's been able to have a moment it's just Maybe in a, that way it's kind of showing how scrappy that this is boiling down. Prano and Scyther have a firefight over two stories from the bottom to the top and both walk away but neither very healthy. Now both will be very low on HP as uh, Dan just holding off an angle right here on the top. Well, off the bottom spiral stairs you can almost say. Always opening up some of the lines of sight. Has to be careful because there's still that player inside the bathroom if I'm uh, correct right there so... Could potentially uh, put up some pre oh no, actually gonfy's not getting out of there he's gonna he's no. gonna drop the wall is gonna be breached and he also knows all right an angle will be created if i drop after they start holding it i will be dead so he has to drop in that case and empire will thus be removing some pressure from that middle floor if you count like that okay i was gonna say if you count that there's only four players so a fifth one is unaccounted for but it's gonfy that is in archives now rotating back around was prano going prone onto the uh, spiral stairs we're trying to hope that one player of Empire is walking into that room without any knowledge and yeah, information. If you're, if you're uh, thinking why he dropped before pressure was coming immediately in the bathroom, it was the work done on the garage wall, but now they've dropped the bathroom themselves, and Dan's found himself right in the middle of the firefight, drops one down deep on the little bit of the white corridor, and they find themselves in a post plant, and suddenly Secret have a lot of work to do to get themselves back kin and the piece it's a big opener and it's a terrifying hatch above that prano is going to see if he can get the control here on there's one body playing up but it's always that has the first kill there swings towards draven underneath the hatch itself prano digs round the corner i believe can't quite get the angle there it is finds the kill but with only 20 seconds left he's got to take a bit of a death yes. drop here and five's just going to try and sneak it both of them are dropped Joystick and Shepard, one apiece, leaves just Prano in the middle and the meat of an Empire sandwich. They're back level. We're leveled up. It's five to five. And, well, I talked about round number nine being an important one, as it would decide who would be the ones to put the pressure on first. But round 11 is an even more important one, because that is going to be deciding who gets the actual match point to try and lock it off with a 7-5. Now, if we continue like we have been, it is most likely going to be ending up in a 6-6, and I'm all for it. There's still going to be a bit of pressure and a way of dealing with that pressure if you do manage to uh, to get behind on that match point. Cafeteria Garage, again, being chosen here by Secret. I can understand it because they were basically overran on the site. It wasn't so purely the fact that, they, that their strategy didn't work or was perfectly countered. Um, they just need to be a bit more aware of the actual breach and what could happen from there on. So maybe we will see a bit of a heavier hold from the piano side just to make sure that the control is not going to be completely there from Empire because that was exactly what enabled them to do it. They had that control. They could take care of the K plan uh, to make sure that the wall would open up. Um, and as a result, you can just rush that plant. You can get that plant in. No one plays in garage, especially not if you're opening up all these angles behind the white van, on the pillar, on pipes, on that uh, little curtain box that is uh, next to the kitchen rotate. So you got to make sure that you keep piano control, or at least contest it to make sure they do not have the angles. Like seeing this, Slevin, he's making sure he gets his lineups right there. He uh, <laughs> found the line of the <laughs> reinforcements and, you know, it's it's practiced, you could say. It's very well practiced. You gotta you gotta make sure you hit it right. And i just um, smashing chairs. You just get yeah, I mean, I mean, th there's two ways, right? You have one who's very calculated, yeah, in in their approach, and the other one is just very aggressive in their preparation. There, there's there's two ways about it. 
And uh, I'm not going to say... What the... He has to have a Boss G on sight, dude. You're not going to tell me that's a Boss G. That's a Boss G. That's not the MK14. That's a Boss G. Does he have the echo gun there? I guess we're going to find out. It's very interesting to see. Uh, of course, it is a one-shot DBNO on, on a lot of the operators on the opposing team. I believe only Cade would be uh, not taken out straight away. It's very interesting nonetheless. I mean, in the right hands, it can be monumental. But on the follow-up of that, for a lot of people, the right hands are bikini bodies. So... I guess we'll see if uh, Scyther's stepping up. He's obviously going for the close encounter here with the SMG. He wants to swing down Visa's stairs, but they have already left the building. Drops to ADSs. More utility from Secret being lost early, and it's a ho holographic. Yeah, so what I'm thinking, it, it might be used to actually open up rotations a little bit. I'm not sure what the destruction value is over the MK40, but... I, I'm trying to resonate here why he would be using the boss G. Trying to find reason. Over the MK14. I'm not, I'm not quite there yet. Um, it could be due to the fact that it is a one-shot DBNO, so maybe he is feeling very confident right here, Scyther, in the shots that with that boss G. But, of course, I'm not quite sure. In the meantime, we do find ourselves in a 4-on-4 four four situation. The pressure is coming on. Gonfi is finding himself and hiding himself uh, inside of Tellers, hoping to stall out a bit more time, but... I'll leave a second call. No, second call already has been used, so they will have to take out or use a drone to try and find him. And thus, Empire deciding to completely go around it. Hive still in that bathroom, has a reinforced hatch, so he is going to be there to try and contest. And what with the two players, one on the uh, Visa stairs and one inside the tellers, they are definitely looking to retake Piano if they lose full control over it. Well, Slevin tried to find them with the C4 and go fishing, but unfortunately couldn't quite make it work. The first wall gets opened and always now wants to put pressure onto the bathroom. Hit the side wall to hope they would rotate and try and find aggression. Just scared as shy of actually spotting Hive. It's a slow creep and crawl to a firefight. The drone whirs round. There's the follow-up. He moved out and, well, he didn't move far enough. Always is able to take a very important kill. But look at that timer. 15 seconds. They've still got to try and capitalize on the site. Joystick goes deep, gets Prano. Gonfi goes for a big rotate here. Round to the bottom of Yellow. Puts and Pepper's bullets towards a man with a boss G that doesn't hit it. Drops him with the drone. The C4 goes out the top. Doesn't go far enough. Shepard sticks the diffuser just suffers at the end of it Slevin hops over the top but they had the cover either side an empire 15 seconds is all it takes to put them onto map point there we have a bit of shots coming through <laughs> okay it's, it's kind of surprising when someone just jumps in front of you like that but managed to be able to pick up that kill right there in the end and empire the ones to reach match point it's up to secret now after they have been leading throughout the second half to try and find themselves a way back into this, to try and find themselves up onto a OT draft or so far, and hopefully take it in the uh, next three rounds that come after this one. But it could just as well end here. It could just as well be that Empire are going to be closing it out to a 7-5 because we said it before. Consular seems to be a good map for them. They did beat G2 on it, even though it was very close. After that, G2, of course, fell from grace and lost basically every single match after wasn't able to reach the top four themselves. And Empire right now trying to elevate themselves out of that bottom seed in the league. This time we do see the MK14 coming out from Scyther. So uh, clearly wasn't a fan of the boss G. Tried to take a, a little bit of a fight. You saw earlier, with I believe that was the mute. Uh, but got outgunned. So a bit more uh, bullets in the magazine might help. Well, 6-5 secret, but you've been on the back foot before. This is the first time Empire have been able to thread two rounds together in a row since the opening two, though. So, momentum is back in their favor. No more timeouts to take. You've just got to try and find a response, and that is to go for the split site for the first time out of both teams today. Can you make something happen here? Double down on those jammers to collect those walls and the chance of breach there as they keep the eyes inside the site itself, conceited concern it's a lot of play underneath you see four c4s and you know the plan here and it's all through those steamed up goggles of the pulse it was a very important operator especially for this site just that uh, quickly pulling up the stats there's about a 40 percent win chance here for the defenders historically speaking in eul so it's not looking too good for secret 
Whereas Empire will still have to deal with the defenses. So it could just as well mean that maybe Empire not feeling really confident, comfortable taking care of this side. So maybe Secret has something up their sleeves. I believe there is a shotgun on Gonfi still playing there. Yeah, we do have that. We do have four C4s. We'll be banking onto a uh, a direct take of towers of Empire. That is what they're going to be hoping for. They will not be able to use those C4s as well in a straight up horizontal take. And they have a C4 being spotted out. Oh, they're going to use a grenade for that. That is heavy piece of utility used. It's going to be uh, blowing up either way. Of course, no impact. As they do take care of the pre-place one. Now they just have to deal with the three C4s that are still in pocket. And most likely will be used into archives, uh, into tellers, I mean. Well, they are slowly scanning and trying to pull themselves to a bit of an impression of where they might be able to find the opening pick. It's been pretty monumental across the many times we've seen it traded as often into the success of one team or the other. Seemingly that early pick, that early swing into the favor of who has more people standing has led to who is left standing at the end of chaotic trains right. that have otherwise rained down Hythe. He is looking for something. Slevin has the cover on Visa Stairs. They are aware though, and over the, the vending machines, they find the first, they swing for the second and always hunts them down. Secret, they went bold, but they might have just paid too much of a toll. Still these three C4s left, mind you, and the Hunt of Empire is on the plant, is coming through. Two people are trying to go for that push, hoping to st shut down the C4s. Joystick, however, able to pick up one kill. It's only up to Gumfi now. We'll be able to pick up one, but we'll not be able to find much more before that planter does go down. And now we have a 45-second retake situation. Joystick is holding the angle, and it's just an easy shot for him there. Empire clean it up. It is them that take the win. It's a 7-5 victory, and they will be overtaking Secret in the rankings right here. It got very close. Secret was in the driver's seat for the majority of the second half, but right until when it mattered, managed to give it away. And Empire were able to pick up, I believe it was three consecutive rounds, just for the win right there. Well, that was it, Empire. They showed up at the end. They were able to pull some precious points. We've talked about this for both teams this season that they'll look back on in terms of learning lessons, of re-evaluating from a team that was freshly put together in secret, from a team that's trying to find their fresh approach to a new meta. Either way, it's been a shaky road to probably a well-needed break and a bit of rest and recuperation. and re-evaluation before we get into the next split. But before then, let's go over to the desk and see what they have to say.